Greetings, fellow mathematicians. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve a second order ODE with constant coefficients and initial conditions. So let's get right to it. We always start by assuming exponential functions of the form y equals e to the rx as solutions to our ODE. And a good little habit I like to get into is just to go through calculating those derivatives. So y equals e to the rx is our basic solution. y prime from the chain rule would be r times e to the rx and y double prime. You get another factor of r from the chain rule. So you get r squared times e to the rx. If you plug all this in, notice each term contains the exponential function e to the rx. So you can kind of already factor that out. And you get as your characteristic equation, r squared plus 2r minus 3 equals 0. Now this looks like a pretty simple quadratic equation. And we ideally try to factor this. And if we look for our factorization, I think that would factor as r minus 1 times r plus 3. And that will easily tell us the characteristic roots. We get r equals 1 and r equals negative 3. So those are your characteristic roots. And each value of r gives you an exponential function as a solution. So we get our solution here with two arbitrary constants. This is going to look like c1 times e to the rx, where r here is we're going to take it as 1, so c1 e to the x. And then we get another exponential function where the value of r is now negative 3. So c2 times e to the negative 3x. All right, from here, we're going to want to make use of our initial conditions. So we have our function initial condition and derivative initial condition. And let's go ahead and plug those in. So first here, we have y of 0 equals 1. So that's telling us that x is 0. and y is 1, so we're just going to plug that in everywhere. Your function term y becomes 1. And notice when I plug in x is 0, we get e to the 0 in two spots. e to the 0 is 1. So what we're left with on the right hand side is c1 plus c2. Now that is a single equation involving two unknowns, to solve for two unknowns, we're going to need two equations. That's going to be where we use the derivative initial condition. But to make use of that, notice this is y prime of 0. We're going to have to calculate the derivative of this. That'll be very straightforward with the chain rule. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so differentiate e to the x, you get itself. So y prime is c1 times e to the x. And when you apply the chain rule to differentiating e to the negative 3x, the chain rule gives you a factor of negative 3 coming down. So we'll write that as minus 3 c2 times e to the negative 3x. Now we can make use of our derivative initial condition, which is y prime of 0 equals 5. So in other words, x is 0. And y prime is 5. And we plug that in. y prime, we're given, is 5. And same thing as before, plugging in x is 0 your two exponential terms give you e to the 0, which is 1. Your right-hand side leaves you with c1 minus 3 c2. All 
All right, and we have our two equations here. Let me just write them down. So we have equation one, which is one equals C1 plus C2. And then what we'll call equation two, five equals C1 minus three C2. Now, this is a system of equations. We could solve it with either substitution or elimination. This one, I'm going to notice if we try elimination and subtract the equations, I can get the C1s to cancel. So let's go ahead and subtract uh, the equations in the following order. Let's do equation 2 minus equation 1. So we're going to subtract the left side. So we'll do 5 minus 1. That'll give us 4. Subtract your C1s cancel. And just be careful with your signs here. We're doing this equation, negative 3C2, minus that. So we have negative 3 minus an additional 1. We should get minus 4 times C2. And we can very quickly solve that for C2 by dividing by negative 4. So it looks like we get C2 as negative 1. And we can just very easily plug that back in to this first equation to get the value for C1. So if we do that, looks like our equation we get is 1 equals C1 minus 1. And um, geez, that's, that math is getting a little bit complicated. I think we get C1 as 2. And at this point, we're done. Let's just write down our solution with initial conditions included. And we're just basically plugging the values for C1 and C2 back in to our solution at the top here, which we got very quickly. So it looks like we get here y equals C1, which is the value 2, times e to the x. And then we add to that C2, which is negative 1. So we can really write that as a subtraction sign. And then times e to the negative 3x. And that is our full solution to this second order ODE with constant coefficients that is homogeneous. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe.